a look at weight loss infomercials. Only in America could billions of dollars be made selling weight loss products to people who need to shed a few extra pounds. In a world full of starving people, Americans seem to have emerged as a nation of overfed, under-exercised fatties who can't put down that bag of potato chips, stop eating that ice cream, or refuse that second, or third, helping of pasta. America's weight problem, historically solved by eating less and exercising more, had now proliferated a dizzying array of products. Celebrities, nutritionists, doctors, herbologists, hucksters, and former fatties have come up with thousands of products designed to melt fat, reduce cravings for bad foods, block carbs, sugar, and fat, lose pounds while you sleep, and more. Only in America could billions of dollars be made selling weight loss products to people who need to shed a few extra pounds. In a world full of starving people, Americans seem to have emerged as a nation of overfed, under-exercised fatties who can't put down that bag of potato chips, stop eating that ice cream, or refuse that second, or third, helping of pasta. America's weight problem, historically solved by eating less and exercising more, had now proliferated a dizzying array of products. Celebrities, nutritionists, doctors, herbologists, hucksters, and former fatties have come up with thousands of products designed to melt fat, reduce cravings for bad foods, block carbs, sugar, and fat, lose pounds while you sleep, and more. Many products claim that, as long as you take one of the pills, you can eat what you want and actually lose weight. There are diet plans, calorie counters, diet food cooked and delivered to your doorstep daily, dance and walk your way to weight loss. The Hula Weight Loss Program, the Brazilian Weight Loss Program, the Fat Burning, Belly Reducing, Balanced Woman, Unbalanced Woman. You name it and it's on a weight loss infomercial. In fact, Weight loss programs, separate from fitness programs and equipment, which may result in weight loss but are sold as ways to improve your appearance, account for more than 50% of all revenue generated in today's infomercials. One of the most successful weight loss infomercials ever produced featured a product called BioSlim. Created by Dr. Josh Lightberg, BioSlim was a science-driven, medically sound program consisting of several herbal pills which when combined with a diet plan also created by Drive. Lightberg resulted in a changed metabolism, an improved digestive system, and a stronger anti-immune system, all of which ultimately led to a steady, healthy weight loss. Following the success of BioSlim, a steady stream of niche players, knockoff artists and entrepreneurs took to the airways with their twist, their hook, their product designed to produce quicker, easier results. One of them was the well-known and extremely successful FenFen diet which was a combination of two herbs known to doctors and other professionals in the industry as full speed. While still legal at the time, the pills killed the appetite completely, created a euphoric state in the user, and led to many problems including heart attacks which led the FDA to ban the main substances from use in the USA. Weight loss infomercials are so powerful and so successful that you have to be careful which products you choose to use. As with anything else in life, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. There really is no magic pill or substance that is going to let you sit on the couch and eat huge quantities of bad foods and make you lose weight without paying some kind of terrible price. I mentioned BioSlim as an example of a stellar product designed by a professional doctor whose goal was to improve people's lives and make money. You could call a number given out to anybody who ordered BioSlim and speak directly with Dr. Lightberg if you had questions or concerns about his product. That should tell you something about the man and the product he's putting his name on. Another thing to look out for in weight loss infomercials is the add-ons. Popular diets like the Atkins diet which were not sold on infomercials, but became successful through book sales, interviews and word of mouth led to the creation of a whole host of products you didn't need that were designed to help you stay on or perform better while on the Atkins plan. Low carb foods and low slash no carb candy imitations, sometimes 10 times more expensive than their higher carb counterparts, flooded the airwaves. Pills designed to reduce the difficulties associated with the Atkins diet surfaced in infomercials. These items are usually designed by less than professional individuals looking to cash in on a craze they had nothing to do with in the first place. For more information on the topic above click the link in the description below.